All right, good morning, Taurus. This is going to be your reading. This is for Taurus placements, sun, moon, and rising. Well, this is for Taurus. This is for uh, Taurus, sun, moon, rise. Taurus, sun, moon, and rising placements. That's better. Okay, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Be sure to flip the script and just choose which side of the story you're on. Okay. So, what's your Taurus placements, sun, moon, and rising? What's going on at this time? You guys can have fire in your chart, or be dealing with a fire sign, or you could be a fire sign with Taurus placements. We got the siren, a temptation may lead you astray. So some of you guys could be a temptress or you could be caught in a situation with someone who's very tempting to you if you're a guy. <laughs> the black cat, your luck will soon change. Okay. And then we have the menstrual. Let your intentions be known. Okay, so, and then serendipity. Bright new projects on the horizon. So some of you guys could be working on new projects. There could be new love, new businesses, a new career, a new home. You could be redoing your home. You could be launching something. So, yes, yes, yes. Some of you guys could be doing business with people. What's this a temptation they need your we got five of pentacles in reverse so Taurus what I want to say is some of you guys could be um be careful because I feel like some of you guys with the five of pentacles coming out of um coming in reverse you guys could be healing from something or getting out of something you don't want to restart something with someone or a habit or again this could be you picking up a habit again that that cost you your money or cost you your health or you could have dealt with someone or you could have been doing something that cost you your health your money or whatever so you may be tempted you may be re-tempted so you may be re-tempted for something or someone that may put you in this five of pentacles upright right now you're in the five of pentacles in reverse so there's financial recovery if you've been feeling sick that's going to recover if you've been abandoned left out in the cold lost out of a home homeless that's going to recover okay so somebody here could suffer from addictions yeah, Knight of Pentacles. I feel like your finances and your stability is slowly coming back together. Okay, a lot of you guys could be focusing on pouring into yourself. You could have been rejected or ostracized or felt that way by someone. But I feel like something slowly is. You guys are, something is slowly coming around or coming back, okay? So, you know, again, some of you guys need to be loyal and committed to whatever this journey is. It's going to be a slow and steady one, but commit to it. Yeah, just be careful because I'm looking at this and it's just like you you guys are on the right track. Okay, with the five pentacles in reverse. Try not to go back to something that is going to have you left out in the cold, broke, homeless, or just in a, in a, 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 a poverty-stricken mindset or whatever the case is. Just be careful with that, okay? careful you may have somebody here that wants to come out of the cold this person could be very tempting for you and maybe you know somebody could be hard to resist or something in general what's this yeah for a lot of okay so four pentacles in reverse so a lot of pentacles here all right, so again, something, this could be going on with your stability. Some of you guys could be feeling unstable at this time. Okay, some of you guys may have to make a big purchase as far as like a home, putting a down payment. Some of you guys could be losing money. Like I said, if you've been losing money, you're going to recover. But again, there could be something or someone that you have to let go of that you need to release, that you need to drop. Okay, what's this? Yeah, four of wands. So I do, so some of you guys could be married or in relationships here. All right. If you guys, if this person may feel like somebody feels like they're on the outside looking and maybe somebody let temptation lead them astray and maybe let them out in the cold, put them in a doghouse. You could have kicked them out or maybe you guys separated. You could have left the house. But yeah, three of swords here, 10 of pentacles in reverse. A lot of these pentacles are in reverse. 
somebody could have lied to you here they could have really hurt you maybe physically somebody could have been disloyal you could have been dealing with a virgo maybe you had that in your chart but there's some type of third party here this could even be your family that could have backstabbed and betrayed you this could have been about an inheritance money all right Four wands is like a home happy home stability family community so you guys again could be slowly rebuilding that for yourselves don't go back to something that will take you out of that what's this called it could be a mindset habits a lifestyle a person yeah four of cups in reverse yeah yeah, you may reject this person totally. You may not even, yeah, you, you're being called to reject something, Taurus. Reject it. Reject it and keep it moving. Reject it. It's not, I just feel like this is not, I feel like whatever this is, it's not worth your time, it's not worth your energy, it's not worth your money. Whoever, whatever, this, whatever, whoever is not worth it, just reject it. Some of you guys could be feeling apathetic about something. It could have been this, this situation or whatever this temptation was could have caused you to miss multiple opportunities. All right? It could have caused you to... Yeah. Mm. So we got three fours here. You could be seeing four, four, four. Uh, number four can be significant, right? Some of you guys could be an April... What's that? Some of you guys could be um, an April Taurus. That's the month of four. Right? Uh, 12 or 3 can be significant. It could be a life path 4, a life path 3, or um, 2. What's this? Yeah, you're not waiting for, you're no longer waiting for something or someone. It's like as soon as you ignore this person, as soon as you let them go, that's when they come back in. But it's like by the time they do, you're already on your way to another. You got, you guys could already be in a new committed relationship, okay? You could already move into a new home, a new job. Some of you guys are rejecting this person or this temptation or this habit or whatever this is because you're in a, a new partnership or you want to be. Some of you guys are trying your best to be loyal to yourself, to whatever your um, a project, your partner, whatever, or your healing. Four of Cups for this. Yeah, Ace of Cups reverse. Yeah, you're rejecting somebody's offer. I feel like a lot of you guys are going to choose to let this person go or just reject this and just focus on yourself, focus on your creative, your creativity. Somebody here could have just wanted to use you for sex. It wasn't going to go anywhere anyway. Or maybe that, yeah, they could have, yeah. I feel like somebody rejected, somebody could have chosen like someone else or a lifestyle or other things over this love this divine love the ace of cups i mean it's the ace it's the hand that's coming out the cloud in the four of cups but this person has their arms crossed they were closed off emotionally closed off financially to you time and physically probably they were probably stingy with affection money their emotions somebody may have abandonment and rejection wounds so or issues so they may tend to get easily tempted by people who come in and say nice things give them attention things like that but something's being rejected and i feel like this is this is time for you to focus on your healing and focus on yourself what's this night of principles yeah will of fortune so something could be something could be coming in slow Okay, you may you may feel like some you may feel like things aren't going in your favor. You may feel like time is not on your side. You could feel like you're there's like bad luck. Something could be stuck and stagnant, but it, it, you may feel it. You may feel that way, but it's only because I feel like a lot of you guys are being tested. I feel like before the universe comes in and gives you this, gives you something, it's gonna it's gonna come in slow, and it's gonna come in slow because it wants to test you to see how are you gonna are you gonna continue to fall back into the same patterns, the same ways go back to this person or fall for you know fall for the okie doke or are you going to stay committed to this path this new path that you're on okay so what's this little fortune in reverse yeah the queen of wands here in reverse mm. Yeah, so somebody could have got tempted by, yeah, this siren could be this Queen of Wands in reverse. 
somebody could have got tempted, stepped out of a relationship, a marriage for this Queen of Wands in reverse. And somebody could be getting karma for that because you could have been really loyal to this person. And then they just got, they let, somebody got led astray. And now somebody could be facing bad karma. This could be a Sagittarius and a Aries. Or Taurus, Aquarius, or Leo. Scorpio is here too with the Wheel of Fortune. Queen of Wands in reverse is very insecure, very pushy. Very overly sexual, usually a mistress. Somebody's also still loyal to whoever this Queen of Wands is. Like somebody here with this Wheel of Fortune in reverse, somebody is, is still up to the same pattern. Somebody here is still easily led astray by women or men or whatever addictions or whatever. Somebody's still easily led astray. It's like somebody gets on the right path slowly, and then there's these, th and then these. It's like they get tested and it's like they fail. What's this for? Somebody's also lacking confidence. That's why they're taking so long to come in. Yeah, Eight of Swords here. You're going to have to let something. If you want to get out your head, yeah, you got the Ace of Pentacles here. You got something brand new coming in. You could be dealing with an Aries or you may have Aries in your chart. But you got something coming. You got a wish fulfillment coming in. Yeah, we got the Empress in reverse, Nine of Wands. Yeah, somebody trying to treat you like a one-night stand or just sex, and you're a wife. Not because you're an Empress, but you're a wife. Okay? But you may have somebody here that may want to propose to you, or this could be a new... You may be getting offered a manager position where you're going to be an authority. Some of you guys may work for yourself. Okay? Or somebody just wants to give you... There's a new solid offer coming. This could be your divine masculine if you are in it. Oh, yeah, we got the empress here, too. So this could be your divine masculine. But I also feel like a lot of you guys are in your masculine energy right now. All right. So. Which can be tricky if you're trying to conceive or start a family because you're going to you need to be in that feminine energy, the energy of receiving. Some of you guys could be having hormonal imbalances, issues with the thyroid. You guys do the throat. So just be mindful. Eight of Swords here in reverse. <clears throat> yeah, Page of Wands. <clears throat> yeah, Three of Cups in reverse. Expect a message from somebody. Somebody could be getting released or out of jail. And they could be, somebody could be looking for someone, looking someone up, okay? Expect good news. Some of you guys are trying to control a situation, but you're going to have to release that and get out of your head because there is going to be good, there is good news. There's going to be some good type of movement that happens, but only after you release control, okay? What's this page of wands? Your only And the only reason why you're being such a control freak is because you're not listening to your intuition. When you listen to your intuitive nudges and your intuitive guidance, you don't have to control anything. You, you can, it's, easy, it's easier for you to go with the flow. Yeah, love is Gemini energy. Some of you guys could be Gemini, Taurus, Cusp. Yeah, expect, yeah, expect good news coming from a Gemini or this could be your, this could be your twin. Or just a high level soulmate. You guys could be starting a new relationship with somebody that could be younger than you or vice versa. Or if not, they bring out your inner child. There's a choice that may be needing to be made here with the lovers. I mean, the lovers and the four wands is twin flame energy for sure. Some of you guys are in that dynamic. I feel like somebody is looking up twin flames or somebody's starting to see this connection for what it is. They could have rejected this and missed out on an opportunity with you. But now somebody's starting to see like, oh shit, somebody's starting, they're starting to see it for what it is. Somebody could have also misjudged you as well. Yeah, somebody could be looking for like somebody could be want be careful because you may have somebody that watches you in your neighborhood or in your area 
there could be like neighbors people in your building or around you or people that live in the same uh area of your home as you that there could be there's gossip okay this could be family gossiping about something some of you guys could be looking for new homes okay somebody could also be like watching a connection or just again gaining some type of insight and information here you may have a family member that comes to you with some information but do make sure you do your own research your own due diligence okay don't just take somebody's word for it yeah six of wands i'm telling in reverse there's, there's gossip here yeah we got the magician in reverse uh mercury energy gemini virgo Yeah, there's gossip here. People could be trying to, somebody could be trying to tarnish your reputation in your area. Okay, this could be, again, where you live. I just feel like there's a lot of gossip. People are envious. People people look up to you, but then it's like people kind of, it's like people want you to, people want you to feel insecure about yourself. They don't want you to feel good about yourself, Taurus. People want you to change. People are trying to change. want somebody or people in general want you to change how you see yourself. They want you to feel insecure. They don't want you to feel proud or good about yourself. People, they watch you, they look up to you, but they won't give you this recognition. They won't tell you that, but they look up to you. There's people that here that envy you. They talk about you. They can't keep their, your name out their mouth. They're watching you, probably even fucking watching your home or trying to look you up or trying to find out where you live. This could be family gossiping, friends. What's this queen of wands in your list? Yeah, I'm telling you, this Queen of Wands could be this other woman. So this could be somebody that definitely, yeah, somebody could have stepped out of a marriage or somebody was non-committal or they, yeah, somebody could have also be filing for bankruptcy. Somebody could be in debt, losing money, losing a home. Okay. Somebody could be getting divorced as well. Yeah, this Queen of Wands could have been in reverse, could have been like the third party. Somebody could have cheated, whoever that Queen of Wands is, somebody could have cheated on you or stepped out on you with this person or, you know, take it, flip it and switch it, right? Male or female. Also, I'm getting this not the case. Some of you guys just feel insecure in regards to love. You could be slow to commit because you guys fear. You guys may be feeling insecure. You don't feel good about yourself because maybe you dealt with someone or you just had your fair share of experiences that hurt you, that made you feel discontent, apathetic, rejected, alone, betrayed, and sad. So now you guys are a bit insecure. So you guys are kind of repeating patterns. You're going in circles. Okay, you could be hesitant in regards to commitment here. I'm getting envy and jealousy. This could even be coming from family. Okay, Taurus, what's this? Real love for What's the six of wands in reverse real quick? Yeah, king of swords here. Yeah. Somebody could be a lawyer. Here. A doctor, a surgeon. Yeah, somebody, there could be people spreading rumors about your body, like how people could be saying you got your body done. And even if you did, so what? But people could be talking shit about it. Okay. I just feel like you cut off a lot of people. A lot of people that you cut off, Taurus, they're talking about you. Like they just, they can't not. They're watching you. They're talking about you. They cannot do it. Like they're, it's so weird. They, it's just your luck with me. Yeah, seven of pentacles. Some of you guys could have been waiting on something. This could have been money. Uh, whatever seeds that you planted and you've watered and nurtured, it is you are gonna you are gonna see a return on it, but it's gonna take time, Taurus. So some of you guys are being called to while one project, while one thing needs more fertilization and time to take off, it's okay to start something else, maybe. Some of you guys need to be patient. Your luck is gonna change. Things are going to be going, and they may not be going in your favor. Now, some of you guys could be feeling unlucky. That could be making you feel insecure, not good about yourself. Some of you guys could be a bit cold right now, a bit detached. Maybe you don't want to be seen. You don't want to. You don't really want to talk to others. You don't really want to be around family right now. 
because of you guys could be feeling really insecure whether it's financially insecure physically emotionally mentally spiritually whatever you're not feeling your best self so a lot of you guys are being told to just be patient here you are going to reap what you sown okay what's the show especially if you've been putting the time into it the fool in reverse aquarius energy aries too like the hermit here yeah, which is virgo yeah, I feel like there is, like, spell work. Somebody could be, if you guys are trying to, like, have a family or a blended family, if, like, somebody's trying to do spell work on that, like, your womb or just be careful with stuff like that. Kind of keep that to yourself. Don't, don't even tell family. Keep it to yourself. What's the show? Somebody could be Aquarius, Capricorn, Cusp here. Hey, man, it's Pisces energy. It's a seven of Wands. Yeah, Seven of Wands. So, Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. Try not to get in your own way, Taurus, by a watch pot never boils. So, you don't get in your own way waiting for something to, you know, waiting and waiting, right? There are going to be obstacles in the way, but that doesn't mean that something is not going to change. You are Maybe you are down on your luck right now, but again, that can change. That can change. How bad do you want something? How much are you willing to fight for it? Also, some of you guys need to have better boundaries and stop over investing or over giving yourself to people. Let give people a chance to give back to you. Set better boundaries. Okay, what's this your love for Yeah, Ace of Wands in reverse. So there's no new beginning here with something. Or maybe it's not the right time. Maybe it's not the time to start a new project. Okay? Maybe not, like, maybe right, not right, right now. A lot of you guys could be feeling pessimistic about something. Some of you guys could be, like, new models. Somebody here could be in, like, an art class. Like, somebody may like to do paint and sips. Okay? Somebody here likes to do art. Somebody likes to go and go to museums, okay? Maybe museum dates or creative dates here. But something is not something is not taking off here. Some of you guys could have been struggling with fertility. They could have been like blocked tubes, you know, things like that. I'm not a doctor, so just you know, always make sure you go to the doctor. I'm not. I'm just saying what I'm getting, the energy that I'm feeling. Okay, what's the sign of pentacles? Yeah, Ten of Cups. So this, yeah, some of you guys could be trying to start a family. Yeah, they could have, I mean, you know, my condolences to anyone who's experiencing miscarriage or any complications or any troubles with that. But that is going to, I do see that changing. I do see that changing. I do see a blended family here. Some of you guys could have put a lot of time, money, and energy into trying to create this. Or maybe you spent a lot of time thinking that you were going to have this Ten of Cups with someone, whether it's kids involved in that picture or not. And maybe it's like... But things are going to change, you know? Things are going to change. Some of you guys could be in same-sex relationships. Hey, what's this kind of cards? Yeah, Page of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus, you could be thinking it's you, but it could be your partner. A lot of women think, oh, I can't, I can't. A lot of times it's the man. So just, you know, just make sure both parties are getting checked and tested here, okay? Don't just blame yourself because it may not even be you. But I also want to say um, some of you guys here, somebody could have stepped out of a, uh, some, hopefully nobody had like a fucking outside baby or something. But um, somebody here is disloyal. They don't really have much to offer. All right, you may have kids with this person. You could have blocked them. You may need to set boundaries with somebody. Somebody's very childish. Somebody could have also friend zoned you or vice versa. Definitely with a page, three pages here. Ten of Cups, the full one. Definitely something involving kids and family. Somebody could be disloyal. I feel like somebody what's this page of something in reverse. Somebody does oh my god, the magician. I was gonna say somebody does fucking spell work. What I'm I'm looking at this black cat, which is fine, but the energy of this reading end with this this 
Queen of Wands with her, in the reverse with the black hat, all the and this Ace of Wands in reverse. Somebody's trying to block. Somebody, somebody's trying to obstruct. Like if you're trying to have a family with somebody or get pregnant, I feel like somebody's trying to block that, Taurus. Or if you're trying to get somebody pregnant, somebody's trying to block that. This may be somebody that you already have kids with, or it's just this is your person's ex or who, whoever, right? There's definitely spell work going on here. This could be somebody in your family even doing spell work on you out of jealousy. But you're still getting this regardless. Some of you guys could have a Mercury in Virgo or Gemini, or you could have those placements in your chart somewhere. Ugh, what's this food in reverse? Yeah, the moon card. There could be fears. Somebody also, if this is not you, this could be your partner or whoever. Somebody could be having fears about starting over or taking a risk here. The moon is Cancerian energy. So like your moon cycles, okay, your hormones. This is the subconscious. Some of you guys, you know, again, as above, so below. What are your subconscious thoughts about starting a family or starting a blended family, things of that nature? Because that could be what's also interfering. Maybe you don't really trust this person. Maybe you don't really trust this situation. So there, there's something going on in the, sub, in the subconscious that may need to be worked through. Okay, judgment here in reverse. And then you got Capricorn, you got Capricorn energy here with the devil and Libra with the justice in reverse. So somebody's getting in the, the wheel of fortune. Somebody's getting bad karma. If somebody wasn't trying to do spell work to block something for you, they're getting karma, uh, Taurus. I was going to say Aquarius. They're going to get karma. Somebody knows that they don't have a second chance with you. They know, damn, there's not a chance in hell you'll be ever interested in them again. It's just me. Yeah, the world card. There's something that's over. Somebody could be secretly watching you behind fake pages on social media, the world card. Some of you guys could be in your sad in return. So that could be why you feel like your life is kind of like up in arms and a lot of challenging things happening. The world card is Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo energy. It is something that's gonna be completed here. You are protected. All right, this unborn child is protected. There's some things that need to be cleaned out and made purged, but nonetheless, you are protected. You are gonna get what you want. What's this? What's the seven of wands? The devil. I'm telling you, somebody is trying to block someone. Somebody's trying to block someone or block you, Taurus. Somebody's doing spell work. And they may do this online looking at your pictures. Some of you guys, there's fake pages going on around, about you. Somebody's trying to block you from starting a new family or getting pregnant or block you from getting anyone pregnant. Okay? What's this? Yeah, somebody's trying to block you. Somebody's also trying to keep you bound to them. What's this devil? Yeah, somebody's obsessed with trying to block something for you. The devil. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody's trying to block. Yep, Ace of Pentacles here. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You may have blocked this person. They could have blocked you. Some of you guys are going into a contract. Make sure you uphold your value. Some of you guys could be moving to Arizona. Or you could live out there. Or you live somewhere where it's like a bit more dry. It's like hot, warm. I'm getting for some of you guys. Or you come from a place that has that. Or you, you, your family or your lineage comes from a place that's um, warmer climate. But um, make sure you uphold values. And make sure you uphold your values and your integrity and your morale if you sign this contract. And make sure you look over all the fine print as well. Somebody could be trying to offer you something, but it may come at a price. What's this Ace of Pentacles? <laughs> yeah, the Chariot Cancerian energies. This could be a new car, or for some of you guys, yeah, something is like stuck. Something is not moving forward. Some, you know, don't let again. This may be some. This may be a very tempted offer. Even I know it's the Ace of Pentacles, but it depends on who it's coming from. If this is straight from the divine, straight from like. God, then yeah, but you're going to have to use your discernment with this. 
because somebody can be trying to offer you something here to get you off the wrong track get you on get yeah get you off path get you you know off the wrong you know get you on the wrong track here or get you stuck somebody here could be feeling like lost directionless maybe something was growing and now it's not it's stopping Yeah, somebody is there's somebody battling with addictions here. Maybe they didn't tell you this. So this person may want to come close. If they live at a distance and they want to move close to you, this is Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah, Three of Wands. So some of you guys need to be be a bit more optimistic. Stop being so pessimistic here. Some of you guys see something coming in. Like you into even if you don't see it, you intuitively know it's coming, right? What's this three of wands? You're waiting for something, or you need to be more patient. Some of you guys are having some of you guys lack patience. Yeah, the Empress in reverse. Some of you guys could be having fertility issues. So again, my condolences to anybody that's had any complications or anything like that. If you had any surgeries you have to do, my, you know, again, condolences. There could have been a car accident here for some of you guys. And maybe this person's going to have to pay you out with something because maybe they were in the wrong. So, uh, Empress is Taurus and Libra energy. It's Venus, which is ruled by Taurus and Libra. What's this? Uh, Empress and Libra. Yeah, Ace of Swords here. Yeah, so... Yeah, Taurus, there's a lot, there's, there's, I'm feeling like there's stuff that's like, the only ace that's not in reverse is the ace of pentacles, but that comes with the devil and the chariot in reverse. You may get led astray with that. So be careful of any new things or any, just be careful. There could have been false starts. Maybe there could have been a false pregnancy start. There could have been a false start in the project, the business, a false start in love. Just know that, again, things are going to change. It just wasn't the right time. You weren't in as good of a space as you thought you were. I'll put it like that. Okay? There's some growing that stuff. There's some learning that still needs to be had here. What's this? Like, yeah, something going on. Yeah, three of pentacles. So you guys, so somebody may be wanting to work with you, co-parent with you. Okay, you could be networking, collaborating. If you just want something to be strictly business, say that. Make sure you say that. Okay, what you know. if you want to deal with other people, make sure that's known. The nine of wands in reverse. So somebody here could be a bit hot tempered, or somebody's gonna get angry because somebody doesn't. Maybe somebody didn't make their intentions known, so they could have let somebody on, and now somebody's gonna be sitting here getting pissed off. Which I agree. I don't, you know. Yeah, five of wands. Somebody may want to cooperate with you. You may have kids with this person. Some of you guys could be single parents or you could just could be working moms here. Sagittarius, Capricorn energy. Somebody could be dropping this queen of pentacles. This could be any air sign too, by the way. But somebody wants to compromise with you now, Taurus. What's this like your assumption for you now? There could be jealousy or fights at the workplace or maybe which, whatever you do for work is very competitive. So people are trying to copy you, compete with you. Yeah, King of Wands in reverse. So we got the King and Queen of Wands in reverse and this devil. Something is definitely karmic. So I don't know if this is you in, in a karmic relationship or a karmic situation or this is your, your masculine here. Some of you guys could be getting, uh, some of you guys may like pets here. Maybe you're having a hard time starting a family. So maybe you guys are getting a pet horse, a pet dog, a cat a turtle you know something to nurture you in the meantime right what's this three of pentacles yeah king of wands somebody's very somebody could be even physically abusive here's okay somebody here could just only go for sex only go for looks and may, you know somebody needs to be somebody needs to some of you guys could be models clothing models or designers or whatever yeah what's this three of pentacles yeah, the death card, Scorpio energy. So there's going to be an ending to a job, a contract, a third party, maybe. Yeah, somebody's ending something here for this Two of Cups. 
I also feel like somebody's been trying to mask it, mask their feelings, but they're about to like somebody's gonna be somebody's not gonna be able to control them much longer. Death card is Scorpio energy. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, working with a Scorpio. Okay, collaborating with one or during this season. This is death card. And we got the strength card. So there could be something ending here, okay? Maybe, yeah. You guys are being asked to have the courage to put an end to something here. Yeah, Eight of Cups. You guys could be having a hard time emotionally disconnecting from somebody. You may have history with this person, or if, if it's not a child, or this could be a past life partner, okay? And they maybe they that they're gonna they're gonna have to stay in the past because this person may have a hard time breaking whatever this addiction or breaking out of whatever these negative patterns or a cycle is. I feel like you guys have completed the cycle. You guys could be at a distance. You guys may be world renowned. Somebody could fear, somebody could fear being well known, okay, or being seen. Somebody could fear vulnerability. What's this nine of wands in the list? Yeah, six of swords. You're being guided to move away from somebody. If this person, yeah, somebody could be verbally or physically abusive, uh, okay? Somebody's trying to avoid something that's going to end and happen anyway. Somebody is afraid of feeling defeated. The masculine energy is coming out upright, so I don't know if this is what's the six of swords. There's a need for hormonal balance. Somebody could, somebody's in some type of distorted feminine energy here right now. The six of swords. Or there's a yeah, page of cups. So some of you guys could be could be moving with your child, or maybe you already have, especially if this person was crazy or abusive in any kind of way. Somebody may want to apologize. Somebody may try to resurrect the situation or bring a conflict or bring a solution to the problem by apologizing. Somebody may want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Somebody wants somebody's gonna let their intentions, yeah, somebody's gonna let their intentions be known, Taurus. Because I feel like somebody wants to move to a, com a better place with you, a better space. They're going to let their intentions be known. Or th if this is you, let your intentions be known if you want to move to a calmer and better space with somebody. Be honest. What happened? And be honest about what, why you're here. What do you, like, what you, like, what do you want? You know what I'm saying? Be honest about your intentions. This isn't you. This is somebody that's coming in wanting to do that. They want to move to a better place. They want to move forward, okay? Or this is you guys leaving something behind. Somebody that's childish, a liar. This is the ones. Somebody's turning their back to the competition or to the petty arguments and fights. Seven of Cups, yeah. Some of you guys could be fighting with yourselves even. Some of you guys could be fighting with yourselves. Somebody could have their, yeah. Somebody's holding on to some type of pain. Okay, this is Seven of Cups. I think all the sevens are out here. Seven of Cups, Seven of Wands, Seven of Cups. I mean, Seven of Pentacles. Only the Seven of Swords isn't out here. What's the Seven of Cups? Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. A lot of you guys are going to choose to stay single. You don't want to fight with this person no more. Yeah, a lot of you guys are going to choose to stay single. You work better. Some of you guys may find that you work better by yourself. Somebody, if somebody wants to, somebody may have a lot of options, a lot of choices. So it's like somebody's going to have, somebody may, you got to use your intuition because this person may try to lead you on or tell you what they think you want to hear, which is why they got this page of cups here, that little ass fish in that cup, because they want, they want you towards, but they also want to have their cake and eat it too. They also still want to be free and kind of want to act single. You know, the sun card, Leo energy, somebody still wants to be free. So just make sure that this person's intentions is known if you're uncertain just use your intuition, okay? Some of y'all are minding your business and you got somebody here that wants to kind of start something with you. Possibly the universe. Yeah, somebody's insecure. Somebody's not getting it. Somebody's stubborn. They don't want to make any sacrifices, not even for their kids if they have any, okay? Somebody here is repeating the same patterns, the same negative habits. Somebody is refusing to learn and see something a different way. Somebody's very stubborn very insecure but their life is out of insecurity well this is you the hey man is pisces energy oh now we got the seven of swords so all the seven so this could be a warning for some of you guys okay somebody could be getting out of jail or, or something like that you may get a notification about that
Somebody could be trying to escape something. But you guys are already in this, already in a new partnership, already in a new connection. Hold on, Taurus. <laughs> yeah, what's the seven of swords here? Yeah, somebody's trying to find somebody's trying to somebody's trying to find a way to juggle something or yeah. I'm telling you, somebody is like, okay, how yeah, ten of swords is everything is not fine. Somebody's verbally yeah, somebody is disloyal. Something goes against your belief system, Taurus. If something goes against your beliefs, your morals, your integrity, you don't have to do it. If it makes you feel anxious and restless, uneasy, you don't have to do it. Somebody could be verbally and mentally abusive. Somebody puts on the front like everything is fine and they're not. They like that's why they're fucking lashing out or trying to fucking take it out on you. But with this seven, with this here, it's like somebody's trying to figure out a way to juggle something, how to kind of get it, how to be two places at once, even. One foot in, one foot out. Be with you, but also maybe be with somebody else, or be with you, but also still be free and and do what they want to do. Also, this could be you. If you're watching for a tourist, this could be playing out from your point of view. You may also have this distorted feminine here that may try to come to you and, and lie to you about something or someone on the internet. So you may hear from this person online via social media. Be careful. They're trying to manipulate the situation. Okay, what's this? What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, we got negativity. Distorted view, wounds, complaining, negative self-talk, self-sabotage, outside influences. Be gracious. Yeah, there's some type of negativity here stalking watching somebody's acting from a place of that nine of wands energy you can't act from a place like that because everything you do is going to be distorted we got darkness before dawn breakdown before breakthrough major shift is in progress dissolving barriers ascending some of you guys are going through an ascension yeah trust the process everything always works out there could be with the seven of wands there is going to be obstacles but everything is with this with this chariot you may have things that are in your way you may have all types of uh, uh, opposing forces unseen and seen that are coming in your way, but it's all, you may be detoured, but it's to get you away from this toxicity, to get you, it's to protect you. Everything always works out. Something better is on the horizon. Have total confidence in the universe. You guys are being forced to. This situation, this situation is forcing you to have complete faith and trust. You're going to have to. We got your own path. Trailblazing brings the greatest achievement. Heart and mind aligned. Unconventionality, uh, authenticity. So some of you guys do something that's non-conventional, non-traditional, maybe for work or how you live your life, your lifestyle. But it's your path. It makes you happy. That's all that matters. You're in alignment. Whether people understand it or not, as long as you're in alignment, that's all that matters. And when you're doing what you love, you're in alignment. When you're on your own path and you're following your own path, you're in alignment. The minute you want to do for what you think other people will approve of is when you lose your authenticity and you get out of alignment, okay? And then we have respond versus react. Express from a loving place. Old trigger and trauma yields drama. New beneficial thought patterns. Yeah, I'm telling you, somebody here needs to... Yeah, I'm telling you, with this, somebody wants to have a heart-to-heart, -heart, but again, in your last reading, Taurus, a couple of readings ago, not this past one, maybe the one before... There was something about you guys not reacting to someone in their drama. Somebody may be trying to get a rise or a reaction out of you. Don't react. Be, you know, don't react. Step away if you need to, but don't react. Stand your ground and, you know, stand firm. Some of you guys could be, uh, you guys may like to work out here, all right? Some of you guys need to switch up your routine or keep your, keep what you, keep your daily routines or keep what you do to your day-to-day -to, -day to yourself. You got people here that are watching you, obsessed with you, talking down on your stuff, negativity. Somebody has a distorted view. Okay, it could be whoever this fucking empress in reverse is, or this could be you right now, right? Depending on what you've gone through or what's happening. We got the next step, daily steps toward your dream. Manageable goals, mentorship, doors opening up, success. All right. We got release to create sacred space. Yeah, with that uh, with that death card, there's something that you're going to have to let go of. Could be a job or a co-worker or a friend. We got tiger on the other side of fear is courage. Yeah, again, some of you guys are going through a, some type of transformation right now. And you're being strong. You're being resilient. You're doing your best. And that's going to be rewarded, believe it or not. Okay, you may not see it. It may not feel that way now, but it will be. 
We got Camel, resilience flourishes in the face of adversity. A lot, again, from the beginning of the reading, you guys are coming out of adversity. We got Chai, a sacred pause with kindred spirits. So some of you guys need to go out. Some of you guys are going to be forming your own sense of family, like your soul family. It may not be blood related. These are people who understand you. They have the same morale and integrity as you. Crystals, healing is never linear. There are always ebbs and flows. Yeah, a lot of you guys could be with this seven of swords. A lot of you guys could be in some type of self-deceptive energy because you are getting triggered. Something could be throwing you off. Hold on. Alright, Taurus, let's we're gonna do some tea leaf and then yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hold on, Taurus. Yeah, unicorn, this spell. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. Then we have both money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. So, let's see. We got gong, an exciting event. So, some of you guys could be going to some type of networking event or something. This situation could be like, I don't know. We got wrath, sorrow over a loss. So... Could be some type of loss here, loss of a job or something or someone or something. So my condolences. Uh, we got mountain, major challenges to overcome. So yeah, again, you guys are going to be overcoming adversity, okay? This is to build you guys' thought patterns. We got quill, get back to the basics. So some of you guys do need to get back to the basics. Your morning, your routines, your dieting, how you take care of yourself. We got elephant, a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. Okay, elephants could be significant to you guys. Tigers, camels, cats, dogs, and um, what was the other one? I forgot, but we got cobweb, protected from negative forces beyond your control. Yes, then we say seen or unseen forces. Okay, you are protected, okay? And then we have mule. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. Yeah, with that... With that hangman in reverse, this person is not going to change because they don't want to change their point of view. Okay? They don't want to... Uh, somebody here is refusing to... They don't want to shift. Somebody's... Yeah, somebody's stubborn. The hangman in reverse is somebody very stubborn. They don't want to break any patterns. They're going to... Somebody's going to still be the same and still going to do the same shit all the time, every day, all day. So, Taurus, this was your reading. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.